Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So by the title and by the thumbnail, you know exactly what we are here to see. This is my latest treat. Okay, yes, I know, I'm spoilt. I know, it's fine, I know. I save very hard for my handbags to the point that most of my new handbags include me selling an old one to pay part of the way. This is my beautiful new Michael Kors handbag. I can't remember the name of it, but the name of it will be in the title. I brought this in the shade teal. So most of my handbag, in fact not most, every single handbag I own is a different colour. I am obsessed with this beautiful, beautiful thing. And I thought I would do a look around with you guys today. So on the bottom we have the feet. That are already scratched and I'm like oh, what the hell but never mind on each of the individual feet it does have Michael Kors written on it the back has nothing but these two beautiful little details and you know sometimes simple is more on the little square clasp would you call that I'm not too sure it does have Michael Kors written on it and the same on the front it says Michael Kors Michael Kors your Michael Kors and your two little buttons now are you ready? Um, I love it. <laughs> so this is the inside. Let me just quickly show you the rest of the outside actually. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the rest. <laughs> Why would I do that? So on the top, you have the beautiful silver zip and it has Michael Kors on both sides of the actual zip. There is also two hooks. There is one here and there is also one on this side. So there is, there is, a, cross, a, body, a, there is a cross body strap. Now this also, when you zip it up, this bit comes out. I like to tuck it in. It was the way the bag turned up. I don't know why, I just prefer to tuck it in. However, it is quite difficult when it is tucked in to zip it back up. That's the only downfall. This is the inside. So on the back of the bag, there is another Michael Kors. It is a zip compartment. It doesn't have Michael Kors on the actual zip this time. It is just there. And in there, that is where I keep the cross body strap. Just in case. Uh, this bag I didn't want the crossbody strap on. Um, but obviously if I'm out in town and I get up with a load of bags. It's nice to have in there in case I need it. Once again it has Michael Kors on all the silver detailings. Everything. Even on the little buckle it has it. So I'm just going to roll that back up and pop that straight back in there. Because that's where it's living. And then that way it's always with me in case I want it. If you turn into the front of the bag, on the back of the front of the bag, does that make sense? On the back of the front of the bag. And there is four pockets. So you've got the two larger ones at the top and then you've got two smaller ones underneath. And that is the look through in my bag. It is beautiful. I love it. You want to see the size of it? I haven't got much to stick in this. So I'm gonna reach to the side of me because I've been doing a few videos today. I'm gonna grab whatever I can to show you what fits. So the first thing I'm gonna get is my A4. This is my A5 Filofax. So as you can tell, it has A5 sheets of paper in, but it is a lot bigger. It is too big for the bag. It sticks out the top. But that is what it looks like on the inside. So yes, it's too tall for it. You're going to think I'm random with all the stuff at the side of me. I don't know why. So chocolate fingers fits. My, my Kate Spade purse fits. Obviously, I'm going to chuck my phone in. Um... Um, oh, let's go with the naked palette because most people know like what the naked palette sizes are. And I'm going to stop there for a second. So, <laughs> in there is your phone, your purse, your two naked palettes, and your box of chocolate fingers. Don't ask for the box of chocolate fingers, I'm not too sure. And there is still loads of room in the top. I don't know if that's a good gauge on size. <laughs> there is a decent, decent sized bag. You can fit loads in it. Don't ask why chocolate fingers are at the side of me. I'm not too sure. And it, what makes it worse is they were actually in this bag in the first place. So I'm going to put them back because that's where I hide my treats. So I ain't got to share them. <laughs> yeah, no one goes near my handbags in my house. Nobody. Everybody knows they're expensive. <laughs> and nobody dares break them or mark them. So nobody goes anywhere near them. So it is a good place to hide your treats, let me tell you. I don't... I'm, the ch I'm like the chocolate finger monster, let me tell you. I love chocolate fingers. I love them so much. Pint of milk, box of chocolate fingers. You've got a happy Nicola for the rest of the day. I'm so sorry about my cold in this video, but I just wanted to share with you my new beautiful handbag. 
that I am obsessed with. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. I do this with all of my new handbags. They're all over my channel. Go check them out. Please click here to subscribe. Click here to check out one of my latest videos and click down here to see a video that YouTube has selected for you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you in a few days with another video. Bye-bye.